the damage is done. The damage is done. Disney is damaged because of Bob Chapek. According to the rap, uh, this got picked up by Yahoo News as well. Talking about the contract renewal of Bob Chapek, who now is going to be in charge of Disney for three more years. I love the, uh, the broken Disneyland sign here. A lot of Disney fans very, very unhappy with Bob Chapek being uh, you know, put in charge of Disney for another three years. A lot of people surprised. They thought he'd be ousted. But of course, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, he got rid of his chief competitor, Peter Rice, and uh, replaced him with uh, Dana Walden, who was the executive who said, we passed on shows because they weren't diverse enough. So I, again, I am highly dubious that this company is going to walk back some of their more political stances, um, especially having having been to Disney in June. Uh, having been to Disney in June, I'm telling you, they're not going to walk back uh, some of their political stances at this point. Uh, it is what it is, but we're going to talk about this, that even the mainstream media is like, Chapek has done damage to this company. The damage is already done, and he's going to continue to do damage to the company. Of course, the stock, not great. Um, uh, when they announced that Chapek was signing again, you could see it drop off again. It's kind of been up and down, but it's not going over 100 bucks a share. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 271,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Geeky is sitting this video out. She is out with family currently. Uh, she will be back hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully she'll be up for videos tomorrow. So we're going to talk about this. Uh, we're going to give you another daily dose of dismal Disney without geeky. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel the same at all, but she was in the other Bob Chapek video. So coming from the wrap, Disney finally renews CEO Bob Chapek's contract, but the damage is already done. The damage is done. Disney's board of directors finally snapped out of its near catatonic corporate state this week by extending Bob Chapek's term as CEO, a definitive move that expressed confidence both to the smart money on Wall Street and tourists ambling up Main Street USA. By extending Chapek's contract for three years, the 11-member board put to rest speculation that Bob Iger would return to save the day, among other names bandied about as a possible replacement. And at least for now, the move silences some of the well-documented whispers and complaints of missteps that have plagued Chapek since taking the job in February of 2020. Bob Chapek inherited a nightmare with this pandemic, and he has managed their big core businesses effectively through a very challenging time. It's only fair. It's only a fair play to give him a chance to run the company under normal circumstances, says the former president of NBC Studios and UPN. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. And here's the thing, too. You know, regardless of what you think of Bob Chapek, uh, you know, Iger was kind of the uh, emperor. Yeah, when he first took the job, like Iger was still pulling the string. So, I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see what Chapek's decisions are. You know, if he gets to make the decisions himself, but we already know that he's a pussy when it comes to, uh, you know, sticking to his guns. I mean, he came out and said Disney is going to be an apolitical company. We're not getting involved in politics. He got blasted by some employees and some media outlets, and he immediately buckled and doubled, tripled down um, when it came to the, uh, the Florida bill. They've given him large leeway with these these uh, PR fiascos when judged alongside how he kept the trains running, managing shutdowns, managing no box office, no parks, no hotels, no cruises, not a single luxury. Hollywood loves a comeback redemption story, but they do not like Bob Chapek. Uh, everything I've heard is is they don't like Bob Chapek. Hollywood doesn't like him. He's a bean counter, not a creative. You know, see what happened with uh, Scarlett Johansson. You know, he was like, you got paid plenty. Now shut up. Chapek may only have a short window to prove himself, if not to solve every single problem facing the company, then uh, at least give the appearance that he's on top of the situation. The long-term damage to Disney's credibility may have been done. The long-term damage to Disney's credibility has already been done. The entertainment giant has been under fire for doubling Chapek's annual compensation to $32.5 million in 2021 amid a slew of fumbles including a legal battle with Scarlett Johansson, uh, the Florida bill, and firing Peter Rice. Uh, to add to Chapex troubles, Abigail Disney, whose grandfather co-founded the company nearly a century ago, is poised to mount a legal battle to challenge Chapex's annual pay. She does not like any CEO at Disney. So I'm, I'm going to be on. And there are some things, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I do agree with Abigail Disney on. 
especially when it comes to the treatment of the cast members. Um, and I do agree with her on, on, on some ways, but she has not liked any Disney CEO that I can recall. I don't think she liked uh, Eisner. I don't think she liked Iger. And I know she doesn't like Bob Chapek. Unless there's a Disney, unless there's a Disney sitting in that CEO chair, I don't think she's going to be happy. And she is not, uh, to be honest, business savvy enough to run a company like Disney. I think there should be a Disney on the board, though. I really do. The move comes two decades after her father, Roy E. Disney, led a proxy fight that ultimately ousted Michael Eisner. The contract renewal may have slowed her momentum. Disney declined to comment to the story, deferring to the board and Chapek statements made Tuesday. Abigail Disney did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Um, when Peter Rice's ouster became public, Disney board chairwoman Susan Arnold, who was named to the board by Chapek last year, released a statement saying the CEO had the support and confidence of the board, but no contract. In fact, the statement caused insiders to question if Disney's board actually aligned with Arnold's statement. In the three weeks it took between Arnold's statement of support and finally giving Chapek a new contract, whispers only grew louder about who might become the next CEO and how soon. Uh, you know, they've got some other, other candidates here, including Dana Walden. Um, there was even heavy speculation the board might seek to acquire Candle Media, which was founded by Tom Staggs and Kevin Mayer. Both of them were big Disney hotshots. Both of them at one point were pegged to be the CEO of Disney. Both Staggs and Mayer were the leading candidates to succeed Iger before Chapek won the board's confidence. I don't think Disney can afford to buy Candle Media at this point. I don't think they can. I don't think Disney can afford jack shit at this point, if we're being honest. I don't think they can afford any big purchases. Um, both of them came cr really close to grabbing the golden ring. Uh, yeah, and then they went and started their own own company together. They talk about how Apple bought Next Software for $400 million to get Steve Jobs back. You know, this has happened before. Um, one Wall Street analyst said that guessing about Chapek's future had become Hollywood's favorite parlor game. But one big reason driving all the speculation had to do with what investors cared about the most. None of this would be happening if they just got the stock price up. That's all. Right now, that is all that matters. With Disney, with Warner, with Netflix, the investors want a return on their investment. You know, it's it's time to pivot to profit. These companies are starting to realize that things are going to be lean and mean for the next couple of years, and they are absolutely, positively, definitely going to have to, to produce profitable entertainment for everybody. And yeah, they can weigh in occasionally on political things here and there, but I mean, Disney has uh, disproportionately sided with one side of the aisle over the other which is so weird because, I mean, we're talking, you know, the Disney family, uh, Walt Disney himself, a, a very outspoken Republican, um, you know. So uh, they're just talking the stock prices are down. The damage is done. The damage is done to their stock. People don't think that Bob Chapek really has a plan. Now, to compound these problems, we've got this uh, uh, India situation, which some other people were doing articles on that, that, you know, they're going to lose – what, 20 million subscribers, Disney subscribers, Hotstar subscribers in India over freaking cricket, which I didn't know was that big of a deal in India. Apparently, it's a huge deal in India. It's like a soccer or rather football in the UK. It's like a huge deal. And they're going to lose a lot of subscribers over that. It does not matter. It doesn't matter if they're Indian subscribers or American subscribers. All investors are going to see is you lost 20 million subs. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. So... We'll see what happens. A lot of Disney fans very, very, very upset with Chapek getting his contract renewed. Um, you know, I just, I'm telling you to anticipate more budget cuts, uh, anticipate uh, more gouging in the parks, especially. They're going to bleed the parks dry. And um, I don't look for anything to change at Disney for any, anytime soon. I mean, I don't think anything is going to change. If, if people are thinking that Disney is suddenly going to become apolitical again, or mostly apolitical, I do not see that happening. I haven't seen any indication of that happening. I would love to be proven wrong. I really would. But uh, they're still moving ahead with the uh, Splash Mountain re-theme, despite the fact that a lot of people are not on board with it. Um, you know, again, they put Dana Walden in, who has passed on shows, proudly passed on shows, because she didn't think they were diverse enough. Uh, if you go to Disney, especially this month, if you went to Disney, if you went to the parks this month, you can taste the rainbow everywhere you go. Like, they're very, very clearly 
uh, supporting LGBTQ plus causes. Um, more, more outspoken, I think, than they've been in years past. So again, if you're looking for Disney to not do that, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I mean, they also know their market. Let's be honest. They know their market. Uh, they know, you know, a lot of uh, LGBTQ plus people absolutely love Disney, love Disney parks, and they're going to give them as many rainbow cupcakes as they will buy. Um, so beyond that, though, we're going to see, we're going to see what happens. I don't know. Skydance is going to eat their lunch, I think, when it comes to animation. Um, I don't know, guys. It's going to be very interesting to watch. So we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. You know, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>